it's crazy to, to think that something this big would come to Rockdale. You know, we had Alcoa growing up. Everybody knows what happened there. It shut down. Oh, back in back in the day when Alcoa was in operations, Rockdale was thriving. I mean, it was the largest employer of uh, the city of Rockdale. People drove for miles just to come in to work at the, the Alcoa plant. The plant shutting down was almost like cutting the head off of a snake. They, people were hurting real bad. Everybody was looking around for jobs everywhere, going out of town. And... A lot of businesses were closing. People were moving. There was hardly any employment here. After Alcoa finished off, man, you know, it was kind of, it was kind of scary. You know, people didn't know what to do or they had to go out of town, different places to go find jobs. It detrimented a lot of people, you know. A lot of people lost homes, vehicles, you know. It, it, it just, it had a, a, a real hard impact on a lot of people. When Winstone arrived, it, it boosted the community. Like I said, even the talk of Winstone coming into town, they gave Rockdale hope. I never thought I would be doing this. I really, I really didn't. It just, it was literally out of nowhere. Being in small town Rockdale, being able to like branch out and have the jobs that we have here wouldn't normally be available in such a small town, so. It's really cool to be able to work at a place like this, be still live in Rockdale, you know, but it's kind of crazy at the same time. Like every day I still wake up, wow, you know, working at the biggest mining facility in America. Not a lot of people can say that. In 2019, when I showed up in Rockdale, Texas with a small team, I never imagined what this would turn into. And today, I want the people of this great company to share their story with you. Okay, I'm Luis Diaz. I'm an electrical engineer, and being, I've been working here in Winston since two years. And right now, I'm the director of engineering and construction in Winston, Rockdale. <laughs> we are a very large-scale facility. These buildings here are approximately 800 feet long. Some of our bigger buildings are 1,050 feet. It's one of the biggest places I've ever seen. Oh man, this place is massive. There's a lot going on here, um, a lot of moving parts, and I mean, there's something's always going on here. Winstone doesn't operate unless you have an inventory personnel, you know. We are the people that get things distributed to our people out on the slab that they need. Yeah, so because we have such a big site, there's so many miners, you know, uh, whether it's a bad fan, uh, PIC chip, whatever, uh, we just go through and make repairs and just keep everything up and running and it gets a little messy sometimes but we got it. Pretty much trying to keep oil off the ground, water flowing and these tanks as cool as possible and I think we're doing a pretty good job of that. We all look out for one another, we all here for one another and this is where we come to get our job done. But on a day-to-day -day basis everyone comes in, we get the job did. There's not any animosity towards anybody, no bickering, arguing, or fighting. I mean, we just come in and just get the job done. It's funny how we get along, you know, uh, different character, different cultures, but yeah, that's how we, how we do it. We just start talking, share the ideas, and then find uh, one decision, and then just go into that path. We interact very positively with our team, and I try to promote positive interactions with other teams and departments as well, just to try to make everything run right. Um, I love working with the guys that I, that I work with. Um, we're all it's so different, um, and it's really good to have that kind of diversity uh, within our department. I'm in the 50 plus club, and you know, computers back in my day were none to existing. Being a PC guy, somewhat of a nerd, like I've seen guys put PCs in like fish tanks, you know, and mineral oil and. It was just crazy to see it on such a large scale, you know? First, you know, first glance, I was like, wow, 
you know, there's going to be a lot going on in this building. And I was really excited to be a, be a part of it. I mean, it's something I've never seen it, didn't know anything about. So, I mean, I was eager to learn. I was ready to see how that worked and how it was going to work compared to the air-cooled buildings. That's what we started with. As opposed to the air-cooled buildings, there's, there's a lot of things that are advantageous as far as keeping things cool and just optimum efficiency all around. I never dreamed of anything like this. Um, building that has, it came and it went so fast. Like, next thing we know, man, we're at the end of this thing. The construction out here goes phenomenally faster than construction anywhere else I've seen. And that's, that's non-negotiable, it's not even an argument. I, I was actually a, a plumber at one point in time. Building a house would take months and months and months, sometimes even a year, and this place was up so fast, like it was, it was crazy. Working at a fast pace is putting that lightly, and I think everything is coming together really well. Seeing the results over the last couple of months really kind of wows you a little bit. One day they're out here scraping land, trying to flatten it, clean it. Next thing you know, they're pouring concrete. When they start working, I mean, it's, it, it's moving. It's moving. Oh, we were working like uh, 60 hours per week. They're overseeing the project here on the ground every day. It's, it's a commitment, you know. You need people who can commit and belief of what they're doing. Uh, when I started here, um, Building F was, they just had a little bit of the walls up and they were still messing with the frame. And then within the blink of an eye, they had the, 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 the building was made. And we were right on their tails getting these systems installed. Tanks, pumps, miners, you name it, PDUs, switch gears. It was just, it was fast. I, I think for sure that Building F was a learning experience for Building G. Uh, building G is going to go so much fast, faster and smoother now that we know what to expect. I've talked to a lot of people and starting out people were skeptical, which that's any, any factory that's going to come in. You can go any place here in Rockdale, Cameron, Lexington and say, oh, you, I'm working with Winston, the people recognize you and ask you, hey, how is work? Food places or stuff, I usually get called out and say, hey, what's it like out there, you know? and. Uh, I explain, you know, there's, there's ups and downs, but it's, it's, a, it's an excellent place to work. As far as being here close, this is where you want to be, without a doubt. Winstone does a lot of charitable things to help with FFA. I was actually part of helping the dog shelter, repainting, getting covers put on correctly for, you know, for the animals. I think Rockdale and Winstone have partnered together very well. I think they've meshed together, I think, in the best possible way that it possibly could. We are bringing technology, we are bringing jobs, we are bringing new uh, type of work, right? We got people that, who never use a tool and now they're good worker, skilled worker. They are always willing to, you know, donate, you know, help out in the community. They ask Winston for anything. They are quick and, and fast to say yes, you know, whatever we can do, we're in. That, that's, that's the culture that we have here. It offers really good jobs, and you see so many people working here from so many different places. And a lot of the people that work here are from Rockdale. Winston really gives back to the community around here a lot. I mean, I know during the holidays, they sponsor quite a few things. Uh, for some of the people in the area that wasn't working or if their place of employment closed, they was able to come to Winston. They was able to continue, you know, making a living, provide for their families after their old job closed. It's, you know, really given the small town of Rocktail the opportunity to grow and flourish um, from what it used to be. You know, having Alcoa out here was, was huge for so long. And then, you know, with it shutting down, with this coming to be, it just provided those jobs again and then more, you know? So it's definitely helped the town flourish for sure. Before, man, I, you know, I was just from job to job and looking and thinking that I can stay here or thinking that it was gonna excite me. But coming to Winstone and, and being around the guys here at Winstone, you know, it's, it's, a, it's a place of home. You know, it's a place that I can consider myself leading up and 
becoming something better. Has it changed me? Yes, it has. It, it made me look at uh, life a little bit differently. I mean, it, it's, been a, it's been a journey, I'll say that. The opportunities right now are like astronomical. I mean, we have so many things going on. There's so many positions becoming available pretty much on a daily basis. I'm, I'm really proud to be at Winstone because it, it gives me a sense of accomplishment. I mean, for me, it's a, it's a proud, I mean, I, I think, I believe we are making history on the Bitcoin industry. Personally, I mean, the, the, the trust they gave me to help them to develop this, this type of building is, 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 I never experienced that before. I came in and I was, I was ready to rock and roll. I mean, I was, I, I, I fell in love with this place. I enjoy my job here and I love the people that I work with. With the amount of work and what all we've accomplished, and just this year alone is something to be proud of. Oh, it's been a great opportunity, you know, like I, I never thought I'd be a place like this and doing what I do and, you know, being a, a single dad with a, a six-year-old, you know, in the small town where I'm at, uh, I wouldn't have the opportunity that I have now to be able to just do it by myself, you know, so like it's, it's extraordinary that I have this opportunity and I don't have to stress about that, you know. Mira, trabajar en Winston es una de las mejores oportunidades que se puede tener en la vida. Es un proceso de aprendizaje, es un proceso de, de no rutinario, es algo que vas a aprender día a día. Es una de las mejores oportunidades que puedes tener para trabajar en Winston. They've also helped me to provide for my family. As a single mother, it's hard to do, you know, raising three kids by yourself. It, it's hard, but I've been able to provide a better life for them. And it was them taking a risk on me.